SEO strategy of 2017. Welcome to nice.education and we will give you best SEO strategy of 2017. Using a tested and battled hardened SEO strategy will make your life easier. That's exactly the type of strategy I'm going to show you right now. This strategy isn't easy. It isn't glamorous. And it isn't quick. It requires hard work, dedication, and long-term vision. If you are up for the challenge and want long-term growth for your business, then keep reading. An SEO strategy that actually works. The best strategies are simple. To paraphrase Einstein, everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. That's exactly how we approach the development of our SEO strategy. Through lots of testing, thought, and experience, we broke our SEO strategy down into four pillars. 1. Find keywords that you can actually rank for. 2. Create content assets about your keywords. 3. Promote your content assets. 4. Make sure users love your website. This strategy has helped us generate millions of new organic search visitors for our clients, niche sites, and gotch SEO. Here are some recent examples of growth we've achieved with this strategy. You can see this type of growth if you follow this strategy and put in the work. Sound good? Let's begin. Step number one, find keywords that you can actually rank for. There are countless ways to find keywords and content ideas. In fact, I show over 35 different ways to find ideas within Gotch SEO Academy. But for now, let me show you a few of my favorite tactics. 5 Ways to Find Keywords 1. Google Keyword Planner Google has recently changed how you can use the Google Keyword Planner. Before, everyone who signed up could see the search volume for keywords. Now, it only shows estimates. There is a way to get around this. You need to create a Google AdWords campaign. The amount you spend doesn't matter. After you do that, you will regain access to the search volume. With that out of the way, here are the steps you need to take to find keywords using Google's Keyword Planner. Click on Tools and then click on Search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. Enter an idea you have into the box. For the example, I'll be using the keyword how to use creatine. After you've entered your keyword, go down and click get ideas. Click on the keyword ideas tab. Scroll down and scan through the keyword ideas. Copy any ideas that are relevant to what your website is trying to achieve. In my example, I would copy creatine reviews, creatine loading, does creatine work, and creatine ethyl ester. All you are trying to do right now is find ideas. You will validate ideas through the competitor analysis tactics I'll show you later in this guide. But for now, list all ideas you come across. 2. Ubersuggest Ubersuggest is one of my favorite tools for finding content ideas. It's also a perfect alternative to using Google's Keyword Planner if you don't want to go through the trouble of creating an AdWords account. Here's what you need to do. 1. Go to Ubersuggest and enter a keyword idea. 2. Click View as Text to copy relevant keywords. 3. Highlight the keyword ideas and add them to your master list. You can also take this list and run it through Google Keyword Planner to see the search volume. Be careful not to chase search volume. Not every good content idea will have corresponding search volume. Use your best judgment. 3. SEMrush SEMrush is great for extracting keywords and content ideas from your competitors. Here's how you to do it. 1. Go to SEMrush.com and enter a competitor's URL. 2. Click on Organic Research and Positions, and scroll down to Organic Search Positions. 3. Sort by POS to find long-tail keywords they are ranking well for. Add these ideas to your master list. 4. Forums Forums are a gold mine for finding qualified content ideas. That's because you have real people asking real questions. Here's how to find content ideas using forums. 1. Go to Google and search your niche forums. Take note of the categories. 
click into one of the categories and examine the threads. Right away, I'm able to find some great content ideas. Dig through all the forums you can find and add all content ideas to your master list. 5. Google Search Console Google Search Console is a neglected tool, but it can be a treasure chest of content ideas. Keep in mind that this is only an effective tactic if you are already getting traffic. Otherwise, there won't be any data for you to extract. With that said, here's what you need to do. Go to Google Search Console and the Search Traffic section and click on Search Analytics. Check Mark Position and scroll down and click Show 500 Rows. Scroll back up and sort the list so that the lowest ranked keyword is at the top. Alright, so now you know how to find keywords and content ideas, but what's next? Finding ideas is only the first. The next step is to qualify those ideas to make sure that your website is capable of ranking for them. Targeting the right keywords is half the SEO battle. If you go after the wrong keywords, then you likely won't see an ROI. So, what do I mean when I say find keywords that you can actually rank for? This means targeting keywords that your website is capable of ranking for. How do you determine this? You have to measure your website relative to the competition for each target keyword. Competitor Analysis Slash Keyword Validation There are two ways to analyze competitors for SEO. One quick analysis. Two deep analysis. The quick analysis should take no more than a few minutes. Only move on to the deep analysis when a keyword has passed the quick analysis. Quick competitor analysis. Here is how you perform a quick competitor analysis. Install the Moz toolbar. Copy the target keyword and enter it into google.com. For the example below, I'll use how to use creatine as the keyword again. Checkpoint number 1. Are there are any websites ranking that have a do below 50? If you see websites with do 50 or below, then it's likely an uncompetitive keyword. There are three websites that have less than 50 do in our example below. This a good sign. Checkpoint number two, are there big brands ranking for this keyword? Look for Amazon, Wikipedia, ESPN, etc. These authority sites aren't impossible to beat, but it is more challenging. The one advantage you have is that your content will be more keyword focused. Big brands rank completely based on their site's authority. Not because of an awesome piece of content. In our example, the biggest authority websites are Men's Health, Bodybuilding.com, and Men's Fitness. Notice that there are three Bodybuilding.com results. This is a sign that they are ranking because of their site authority not because of the depth or quality of their content. Checkpoint number 3, are there any PDFs, Q&A sites, Yahoo Answers, Quora, forums, Web 2.0s, press releases, Ezine articles, hub pages, or eHow pages ranking? These types of pages are a good sign that the keyword is uncompetitive. In our example, there is a YouTube video ranking. You can usually outrank YouTube with a quality, text-heavy content asset. If the target keyword passes these checkpoints, then it's time to move on to the deep analysis. Deep competitor analysis. You will need a few tools for what I'm about to show you. Moz Toolbar. Arifs, Majestic, or Open Site Explorer. This competitor analysis template. Here's how you do it. 1. Go to Google and enter your prospective keyword. For this example, I'm going to use how to gain weight for women. Export the top 10 results using the Moz toolbar and open up the file. 2. Copy the titles, landing page URLs, PA, and DA and paste it into the sheet. 3. Go to RFs, Tools, and click on Batch Analysis. Enter your URLs and make sure you select URL from the drop-down. 4. Export the report. 5. Copy and paste referring domains into the RDS column. 6. Copy and paste the Google+, Facebook, and LinkedIn shares into their appropriate columns. 7. Use this tool to gather the site age of each competitor and paste the results into the sheet. 
8. Use this tool to get the word count for each target page. 9. The next step is to manually analyze each competitor's ranking page. First, analyze how well they are leveraging media in their content. Media includes images, videos, infographics, templates, etc. Make notes in the column for each competitor. In this example, the number one ranking page has images, but it doesn't have video. So, in the competitor analysis template, you should write no videos under the M column. 10. Now you want to analyze the quantity of outbound links. Quality outbound links improve the trust and quality of content. If a competitor is ranking without using outbound links, it becomes a leverage point for you. The number one results for our target search phrase has zero outbound links. 11. Now you need to analyze how well the competitor's page is optimized for the specific seed keyword. Google will always value the most relevant page for a search query. As I mentioned earlier, pages will rank because of their site's authority, not because of their keyword targeting, or content quality. A good example is the number one ranking page in the example template. Both their title, 20 proven tips for skinny girls to gain healthy weight and URL, http colon slash slash living fit dot co slash two zero hyphen proven hyphen tips hyphen for hyphen skinny hyphen girls hyphen to hyphen gain hyphen weight are not optimized well for the keyword how to gain weight for women so under the kw targeting quality you would give this page a score of around three that's because you can create a page that is better targeted and more optimized 12 next you want to look at is the timeliness of the content if the content is outdated, then put an N for no in the timeliness column. In the example, fundamentals for losing weight don't change, so I have to put Y for timeliness. 13. The next element you need to judge is the design of the content. Is it easy to digest? Are there distracting elements that take away from the content? The number one ranking page in our example has advertisements above the fold. This is something Google's Panda algorithm doesn't like. That's because it pushes content further down the page. This hurts user experience, UX. There are a few other advertisements within the content and at the end, but they likely don't negatively impact UX. The content itself is well formatted, but it's not great. Good for ad CTR, but bad for UX. 14. The last element of the target page you need to analyze is the thoroughness of the content. Can you expand on the content? Can you inject case studies and research to improve the quality of the arguments? There is room for improvement in the example. In this case, I would give it a 6 tenths. 15. After you have entered these details into the template, you need to average out the columns. The reason for doing this is because it creates a baseline and goal for you. For example, if the average word count is 2000, then you know you need to exceed that. If the average linking root domains are 15, then you know you need a comparable amount to get to the first page. Of course, the quality of links can alter this, but you get the point. Click to expand. This is a comprehensive approach but it's necessary for understanding your competition. Let your competitors' benchmarks guide you. Based on the averages from this example, this is a valid keyword to go after. Repeat this process for every keyword that passes the quick competitor analysis. Now that you understand how to analyze your SEO competitors, it's time to select a keyword targeting strategy. Two keyword targeting strategies. There are three keyword targeting strategies that work well. One long tail assault. Two body keyword focus. Long tail assault. Long tail assault is when you create content assets around long tail keywords. Then you focus on building the authority of your website. As your site authority grows, so will the rankings of your long tail keywords. Create content assets for each long tail keyword. The long tail assault strategy is dangerous when used wrong. That's because of thin content. You need to avoid creating thin content because a, it won't rank and b, Google's Panda algorithm hates it. Body keyword focus. 
Body keyword focus is when you create a content asset that focuses on a higher search volume keyword. The difference is that you won't create individual pages for each long tail variation. Instead, you will create one master page. This master page will attempt to rank for the seed keyword and other relevant long tails. For example, you would create a page targeting the seed keyword phrase, how to use creatine. Within the content, you will want to inject relevant long tail and LSI keywords such as, is creatine dangerous for teens, what is the best time to use creatine, or where can I buy creatine. This my favorite approach because you can focus all your effort on creating an incredible content asset. Then, you can spend the rest of your time promoting it. Another great element of this strategy is that you can improve and update that keyword target content asset. No content asset is perfect after you publish it. There is always room for improvement. Now that you know two effective keyword targeting strategies, let me explain how to create content assets that actually perform well in Google. Step number two, create content assets. After you have identified your target keywords, you need to create content assets. What is a content asset? It's a piece of content that gives your ideal customer avatar, ICA, tremendous value. If you succeed, your asset will generate social shares, comments, and attract backlinks. In theory, this sounds like a piece of cake. Unfortunately, in practice, many people do not succeed. Why? Because they don't use the right strategy. There are two ways to create keyword targeted content assets. One create a content asset that is dramatically better than what is currently on the first page of Google for your target keyword. To create a content asset that is dramatically different than what is currently on the first page of Google for your target keyword. Combining both tactics will get you the best results. Let's dive into these two strategies deeper. What does it mean to create a content asset that is dramatically better? When I say your content should be better, I mean 10x better. For example, if the average word length of the top 10 ranking pages is 2000 words, then you should double that amount and produce a 4,000 word beast. Writing a longer content is only the first step. To take your content to another level, you should inject media, case studies, helpful external links, and make sure your content is readable by using bullet points, numbered lists, and breaking up paragraphs. A good place to start to understand this concept is with Brian's skyscraper technique. What does it mean to create a content asset that is dramatically different? This technique is best when the first page is littered with strong content. If every ranking page is super comprehensive, evergreen, and up-to-date, you will need to take a different angle on the topic slash keyword. Your content will need to be radically different than what is ranking. That's because regurgitating great content won't get you anywhere. The only way to beat great content is to do something totally different. For example, let's say you wanted to rank for the keyword phrase how to use creatine. Go to Google and enter the phrase. Within seconds you will see that the first page is littered with how-tos and guides. This is what you would expect for this type of keyword phrase. Notice how much the video stands out for the search query. Although it's ranking number 6, it likely gets a great SERP click-through rate because it's different. So, if you want to rank for this keyword phrase, you could create an infographic, interactive infographic, expert roundup, or even a case study. Anything different will be impactful. 80 20th strategy. The two rules above apply to keyword targeted content assets. But does this mean that every single piece of content on your site needs to be Keyword targeted? No. This is why I recommend the 80 20th strategy for your content. 80% of your content should be keyword targeted and 20% of your content isn't. Keep in mind, your goal for creating content assets should always be to attract backlinks. Always ask yourself, does this content asset deserve backlinks? So, now you're likely wondering, what type of content do I create for the other 
Content types that attract backlinks. The possibilities are endless, but here are a few content types you should consider. Lazy man method. The lazy man method is when you leverage resources that already exist. The best example is a curate guide. A curate guide is nothing more than a list of valuable resources. Curate guides can come in many shapes and forms, but content roundups are most common. Here are some examples for inspiration. This week in social. Links a la mode. The very best of internet marketing. Another type of curate guide involves recycling yours and other bloggers' content assets. A great example of this is Brian Dean's link building guide. As you will see, Brian links to quality resources, but he also links to resources on his own site. Reverse engineering successful content. Fortunately, with tools like Buzzsumo and Arifs, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can use these tools to find what content has performed best for your competition. Then you can create something better. Unique names for strategies. Have you ever read my articles about the merger technique? I created this phrase knowing that it would have no competition in the SCRPs. If you do this right, people will end up searching for your unique phrase in Google. Also, it makes your content more linkable. For example, let's say someone wants to link to Brian Dean's skyscraper technique guide. It's much easier to say, see Backlinko's skyscraper technique for more information instead of see Backlinko's article that explains how to find content that has already performed well and create a similar piece of content that is 10x better. Which one is more click-worthy and enticing? Results People love reading about results. That's because it's one of the best ways to learn. You can read information all day, but results show you the practical application of the information. Create content showing real-life results. It's easy in my industry because results are all that matter. But this can work in other industries as well. Here are some non-marketing examples. The 7 things I did to lose 220 pounds without dieting. Texas school triples recess time and sees immediate positive results in kids. Shelter puts rescue dogs in a photo booth to get them adopted. The results speak for themselves. Case studies. Results and case studies go hand in hand. One way case studies can differ is that they don't always need positive outcomes. The key to creating an effective case study is to make it as detailed as possible. Here are some examples. Top 10 Growth Hacks Case Studies 911 Case Study, Pentagon Flight 77 100 Conversion Optimization Case Studies Infographics Infographics are one of the best forms of link bait. They are overused in the marketing industry, but there are still opportunities in other industries. Here are some great infographics for inspiration. This infographic shows how only 10 companies own all the world's food brands. Only 9% of America chose Trump and Clinton as the nominees. 16 Things Teachers Should Try Indiana 20162 Infographic Expert Roundups Expert roundups have been abused in the internet marketing industry, but they are effective for several reasons. First, you don't have to create any content. The experts create all the content. Second, it is ego bait. Meaning, anyone who participated in the roundup will likely share it with their audience. Last, it is a great way to build relationships with influencers. Here are some examples. Flexible dieting, the complete guide and expert roundup. 90 SEO experts talk white hat link building, outsourcing and scaling. 9 vegetable. Gardening mistakes every beginner should avoid, an expert roundup. Helpful applications or tools. Any type of application or tool that makes people's lives easier can attract backlinks. Some examples include Moz's Open Site Explorer, Asana, and Google.com, I'm Captain Obvious. There are many other content types, but these are a great place to start. Now you know what types of content perform well, but what now? How to optimize your content assets.
a good asset can perform well in Google without lots of optimization. But it will perform even better if you optimize it well. I'm not going to complicate this step. Here's what you need to do. Place your keyword in the title, front load it if makes sense. Place your keyword in the first sentence, first heading tag, and last sentence of the content. Write naturally and try to keep your keyword density between 1 to 3%. Inject LSI keywords where it makes sense. Now, let's move on to how to promote your content assets. Step number 3, promote your content assets. As you know likely know, creating content assets alone isn't enough. You need to promote these assets like crazy. The only way to score backlinks and social shares is by getting eyeballs on your content. First, I'm going to show you some general content promotion tactics. Then I'll explain what you need to know about link acquisition. 6 Easy Content Promotion Tactics There are hundreds of ways to promote your content, but I'm going to show you some of my favorite. 1. Leverage your email list If you aren't trying to grow an email list, then you are missing out. There is no easier way to get eyeballs on a new piece of content than sending out to a list of subscribers. I recommend that you prioritize growing your email list. You won't regret it. 2. Promote with Push Crew Push Crew sends notifications to your subscriber's computer desktop. All you have to do is install the Push Crew code and it will add this button to your site. Based on our experience, Push Crew produces higher CTR than email. That's because it eliminates the step of having to open an email. We've sent out a total of 6 notifications for Gotch SEO and the average CTR is around 25%. Keep in mind, Push Crew isn't an alternative to email. Email is king when it comes to marketing, but Push Crew is a great way to amplify your content marketing efforts. 3. Build internal links. One of the most overlooked tactics is to leverage authority from other parts of your website. You achieve this through internal linking. Internal links can give your new content an immediate boost of authority. This will help with organic search growth. For repurpose. There are segments of people who prefer audio and video over massive amounts of text. Repurposing your content into different formats is how you can reach these people. Admittingly, I don't do this enough for Gotch SEO, but I will in 2017. In addition to videos and audio, you should also consider repurposing and reformatting your content into slide decks, webinars, PDFs, and even infographics, if applicable. After you have reformatted your content, you can add it to your content as an upgrade. This will improve the quality of your content. There are several guides written on content repurposing that I recommend you read, and take action on. The Ultimate Guide to Repurposing Content 11. Genius Ways to Repurpose Content Repurposing Content by Neil Patel 5. Promote in Social Media Groups Many social media groups have engaged members who freely share quality content. But before you jump in and start self-promoting, make sure you introduce yourself, join discussions, and add lots of value. If you join the group and start spamming your content, you will either, a, get kicked out of the group or b, you will have low engagement on your content promotion. That's because you don't have a positive reputation in the group. Treat the group as if the people in it were your real life friends. Be a real person and don't be weird. Don't forget, add value before promoting anything of yours. 6. Reach out to Bloggers mentioned Whenever you link out to a blogger, make sure you reach out and let them know. Here's an example. Notice some of the key elements of this email. 1. Always use the person's name. 2. Compliment them about their content, since you link to it. 3. Give them a reason to look at your content, use the word because, it is a strong persuasive motivator. 4. Don't ask for anything. If this is your first interaction with a blogger, think of it as your first date. These are more than enough content promotion tactics to get you started. Now let me explain some important elements of link acquisition. Link acquisition. 
I have already created a comprehensive guide on backlinks, but I will show the most important elements here as well. Relevancy is king. Your efforts should focus on the acquisition of relevant backlinks. This is why I recommend you use the relevancy pyramid to qualify link opportunities. Authority is queen. Relevancy is the first qualifier of a quality link opportunity. The next qualifying factor is the authority of the opportunity. Since Google doesn't update page rank, PR, anymore, you must rely on third-party metrics. I recommend you use domain authority, DA, from Open Site Explorer, domain rate, DR, from RFs, or trust flow from Majestic to determine the quality of your link opportunities. You should use all three tools if you can. Contextual links are best. There are different types of backlinks you can get, but none are more powerful than contextual backlinks. Getting contextual links on relevant websites is a time-consuming process. Our blogger outreach service can help you save time. Anchor text matters. You can get all three of the factors above correct, but you will still see little results if you get your anchor text wrong. You need relationships. Acquiring quality backlinks involves outreach and relationship building. It isn't easy, but it's worth it. Here are some great guides to help you with outreach. The Complete Guide to Outreach, 52 Curate Resources. Link Building Outreach in a Skeptical World. 19 Link Building Slash Outreach Strategies That Work. Asterisk Our Blogger Outreach Service takes care of this entire process for you. Click here to learn more about it. Step number 4, make sure users love your website. The quality of your content is the single most important element of a positive user experience, UX. It doesn't matter how cool your site design is or how quickly it loads. If your content is bad, then no one will come back. I know this won't be a problem for you, though. Just follow the strategy I've laid out and your content will be awesome. Now you need to make sure that the technical elements of your website don't damage UX. A quality user experience, UX, occurs when a user doesn't have to think about anything other than your content and your products slash services. Some technical issues that directly hurt UX include Slow website loading speed Non-mobile friendliness Broken links and 404 pages those are technical issues that directly hurt your UX. Here are several other issues that could hurt your organic search traffic. Duplicate content. Thin content. Redirect chains, 302s, unsecured version of site not 301 ing to the secured. Crawl issues. You should use an SEO audit to identify these technical issues and get them fixed ASAP. Conclusion. Although this SEO strategy is simple from a 30,000 foot view, there are intricacies at each step. That's why I created Gotch SEO Academy. When you join Gotch SEO Academy, you will learn exactly how to get SEO results on a consistent basis. Our proven strategy has generating millions of organic search visitors for clients, niche sites, and Gotch SEO enrollment for Gotch SEO Academy opens for a limited time in January. Click here to secure your spot now. Have some questions? Leave a comment below thanks for reading. Filed under, link building, on-site SEO, SEO.